Mrs. Charles, and I'm back to do the reading. Okay, all hell is breaking loose. I did have the Capricorn card, okay? So the devil got his eyes on you. I could be a fire sign, Leo, uh, Sagittarius, or Aries, but then I got Pisces energy. So a lot of shit that is hidden is coming out unexpectedly. So that's what I'm going to focus it on. Anyways, behind the scenes shit, I'm already going to get the motherfucking um, behind what's uh, unexpectedly going to be happening. But yeah. This is like that uh, psycho war shit. Like somebody is like losing their mind because they can't get a hold of you guys. All right. I got Aquarius energy too for some reason. <laughs> hey, Empress Nina. But yeah. So boom. And we got Sagittarius. Okay. The archer just came out. I just rolled it to that. <laughs> We're seeing that shit anyways. Yeah, so, wow, somebody could unexpectedly be getting locked up as well, too. Nine of Pentacles, they could have been doing this to a Virgo. What is it, Uno, I know. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so, unexpected Eight of Swords, okay? So, this person, if they're not talking to, the reason why is because they're behind bars. Somebody could be behind bars. All right, I also feel like lemon is important too here. Lemons help clear up something. I said clear up something. Lemon is a very natural way to cleanse, okay? Not help clear up something. So I feel like somebody been trying to lose lemon, okay? Yeah, King of Cups and the Ace of Swords. All right, so also somebody's going to learn unexpectedly that a Cancer is having a new beginning with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a victory. Three of Pentacles, yeah. These three people, that's unexpectedly. Something is also coming out unexpectedly, okay? Uh, uh, with a job, a co-worker, okay? A promotion or somebody sabotage, somebody promotion and somebody learning about that. Could be a Capricorn. Um, I have recorded all them damn videos on Instagram and it wasn't no recording, okay? So silence was what I was saying on all of them. It's a need to be silent or it's a need to say less. And I didn't have any audio on them, so that was very significant. And I believe Capricorn had the hangman, so they may learn that Pisces has sabotaged them as well as unexpectedly around this full moon, too. All right, we had the Ten of Swords, yeah, ouch. Gemini, okay, this shit is going to hurt. A con this is actually going to cause a contract to be torn up, the paperwork there, um, unexpectedly, too. Several people involved here, too. And it was the Ten of Swords, too. Who had the Ten of Swords? I think Fire Science had the Ten of Swords. We have Sagittarius. So, yeah, the unexpected is coming from a Sagittarius or something. Um, yeah, the Tower. Damn, this shit is, like, going to blow somebody's mind. Somebody actually is on um, Lifeline. Or somebody is, like, um, wow, something, like, it's like ends up in a hospital somewhere unexpectedly. As well, or they may be rushing to the hospital from their job or something, too. There's the Three of Pentacles. All right, we got Scorpio energy, Aquarius energy. Yeah, so this person also, this person that's watching, they're watching to see if somebody is in the tower. Like if somebody is going through tragedy right now and stuff. We have here the sun. All right, so somebody is like gonna come up out of this. All right, okay, baby, I'm all right. We got Leo energy here too. I feel like it's a psycho Leo Roman too. I, I know it's somebody here that could be a Leo good. Oh yeah, and um, a false friend. That's a Leo. A Leo is targeting somebody. Okay, a Leo is acting a fool. Somebody may realize this shit. I feel like this Leo is a sexual predator. Because I, I was getting these cards out the this or this person likes to massage. Okay, master sexual. Um, this person's probably really good in bed. Then we got music, okay? So, yeah. I also feel like somebody's playing music, and you guys going to realize somebody been doing it. I don't know if you're just going to get an intuitive download or intuitive hit. Yeah, friends. Four people. Mm, yeah, but this is self-care, so I feel like somebody is trying to stop somebody from healing their wound or a situation where someone needs to rest, recover, recuperate, okay? Somebody's going to realize they're going to have to sit their ass down. The winky dink don't work anymore or the toodle doot don't work, okay? Whatever. This is unexpected with the tower or somebody may end up also trying to get somebody pregnant, okay? Somebody is like turn on the wine and the red lights and... All the red light special, okay? The devil in the moon, yeah. This person, um, it could be in the industry, too. 
<laughs> These are my cards, okay? The devil and the moon and the tower. All right, so somebody might get electrocuted, okay? Oh, you know what? You know how they, you walk past somebody and they shock you, okay? you like, hmm. Yeah, so this could be something happening like that, okay? I also feel like somebody's, like, dumping or throwing away the evidence or some shit here. Yeah, it's like a, the fire can, the trash can is on fire. Somebody can have an earache, too. Hey. Pork rinds. <laughs> Let me see. What's today? The, uh... Today is Tuesday, right? Tomorrow is Wednesday, the full moon. Yeah. I got a surprise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Page ones. Okay. Expecting good news shopping. So this person is shopping the market or something right now. Somebody might bump into somebody at an actual mall, a boutique store. And, um... They might have a few choice words for you as well, is what I'm seeing here. Is that and that is the page of one's fire sign. All right, so someone could be trying to see um how they can bump into you guys. Yeah. I feel like this uh, person is rallying a team together. Y'all they want y'all to stay healthy, okay? Stay healthy. I sure did. I got some pork rinds right now. <laughs> This person probably liked them. All right, some of y'all, this person is like in a... Damn, this person been studying the hell out of y'all. Virgo energy, okay? Encyclopedia. All right, so yeah, this person is like a doctor. Okay, this... this wow, somebody may learn the doctor is a predator. Unexpected, um, doing shit to people, okay? Whatever type of doctor this is, they very intelligent. They're very smart. We do got... Um, I, I said Aquarius, Pisces, and Sagittarius, okay? Wow, that's a random combination, though. With the Virgo energy, y'all. All right. Mm. Yeah, this person is um, fucking with unexpected. Um, this person is um, fucking with people. They're like, oh, you got, you're got married? You got kids? All right. Are, do you got kids? Are you married? This is something. You know, um, this person could um, be what they call it, a pretending artist, okay? This part, person is probably really good. This person is gone. Seven of Cups, Scorpio energy, and Three of Cups energy. This person is um, probably married with kids, okay? That's probably what's going to be so shocking about this shit with the tower, too. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. All right, electricity, too. It might be an Audi. Or, or, what is it? Um, a power outage just might going to happen here. Uh-uh. Don't fuck with them. All right, anyways. So, all hell is breaking loose. And I feel like... It's a surge of power. Aries come with surge, okay, or uh, urgency. Why the fuck do I feel like it's a predator on the loose or something? I mean, this person, uh, well, yeah, they a predator, but I feel like it's going to shock somebody, okay? I feel like this person got a damn thing here somewhere and everything. I want to know. God dang. Some of you guys, it's an ex-neighbor. That it, you may, they may be getting locked up, okay, over the Aries full moon because somebody got a registered sex offender in the neighborhood, or somebody's a registered sex offender. Alrighty, now, or you could be your ex, okay. You got ex neighbor trans transportation. Mm -hmm. So somebody could be going getting locked up, okay, next day because they finding out this, or somebody doing a background check and stuff. Ace of Swords is like doing a background check with the Hermit as well. Someone's looking up some shit. Yeah, somebody is also, um, oh my God, like why? The unprotected sex, okay, yeah. This person likes to have unprotected sex too, and they like to lure the unexpected. Um, did y'all see that movie? I can't remember it. Um... Yeah, the Walmart girl with the baby that had the baby at Walmart and the girl that helped her get a job and stuff. She was on and the guy liked her. But a girl, she had, the guy was a predator, okay? She got in there just in time before he was about to have sex with her little baby girl and stuff in that movie and stuff. And he was coming off so cool. She didn't know what to do. It was like, it fucked up her whole thing because he came off like, like 
a real swell type of guy that you would never even thought he would have did some shit like that. But his ass was a predator. All right. The thing I don't remember is it's the Walmart girl. She had a baby in Walmart, but her friend had ended up being with a predator or a predator had targeted her friend. That type of energy right here. She had some little kids. And he was going after the baby baby. Sabotage. Why the heck? Yeah, so that's what I'm getting with this energy here. So this um this person might um be going to jail. Wow, maybe calling out a neighbor that's going to jail. Also an ex that's going to jail. Ten of swords again. Yeah, damn. This neighbor must hold in it. Um Gemini is either telling on them, Virgo, or somebody doing like research, like ten of swords twice. Like all of a sudden something is end. Or somebody um drowns, okay. This could be like somebody drowning too. That all right, let's see here. The Queen of Swords, her sign that's um, figuring some shit out. All right, that's um, that's either losing their mind or shit. On what they call it? On the, yeah, a, oh, a craze. And we got the Seven of Swords. Shit, this is the, yeah, strong Aquarius Gemini coming through here right now. About either this person holds this energy, and we had hit a Seven of Swords too treachery so somebody either about to be planning revenge okay <laughs> this person yeah because what the hell is the queen of swords got in her hand i was trying to figure that shit out oh yeah she got the sword in her hand all right yeah then the star and the seven of cups mm. not seven of swords well somebody dishonest anyways so I feel like somebody's on to somebody trail. Somebody, <laughs> it's your unusual suspect here. All right, this is somebody that it doesn't look, they don't fit the type, they don't fit the type, the typical person that would do this shit either. All right, this person could be like, uh, yeah, somebody like ancestors giving their ass downloads, okay? This is like somebody noticing somebody at a park too. Cause look at the ancestor and the energy work. Okay, uh, what was that? Yoga is uh, a yoga or um, a gym instructor. So this person could work out and stuff, or they could be in that line of work as well. Very fit. Okay, very well put together. They go for people that's with um, that has a weakness. Okay, what the hell is the weakness though? Very learned person though as well. They really good, Scorpio. Yeah, people that got a weakness for sex, okay, or they feel like people that ha like um have a weakness um for sex. This person targets people to rape their asses, okay. This is like a rapist or some shit. Scorpio um rules the organ, so this is gonna be coming out, okay. Scorpio, the twenty third is it Friday? Yeah, that's what's going on. Somebody like they're they're getting downloads or someone's getting warnings from their ancestor or shit. Somebody's like paying attention to their surroundings and shit as well with that coming through. Or somebody just looking at somebody and they looking at somebody in suspicion. And I feel like their intuition is right on point. Whoever this ex is or this person is got negative gossip online. Hmm. We got past life. <laughs> What's up with the negative gossip online? So somebody going to be spreading negative gossip online? All right, so best friend, okay? So someone is like, well, shit, before this person gets to me, I'm going to start spreading negative rumors and shit. And I'm going to try to taint their asses before they can, like, sound the alarms, okay? So someone is, like, trying to get ahead of this person before they call their asses out, Okay. But I feel like the Ten of Swords is like, someone's moving in silence any damn ways. Two of Cups here. Yeah, so someone is also trying to um, blend in their environment. It's two bitches here. Like somebody's trying to blend in or somebody's taking somebody's pictures and what they call it, a ghost account. Uh, where they duplicate some shit um, as well. Hmm. Why somebody... I got the magician at the bottom, so either Aries is hip to a Pisces gay or Pisces is hip to Aries gay. 
as well. So somebody's hip to somebody. Uh, they know somebody is like either secretly, what they call copying, duplicating, mimicking. Yeah. Because cancer energy is like mimicking somebody. Yeah, a lot of shit behind the scene going on. That's why this shit about to hit the fan. Seven of Pentacles. Someone knows somebody is doing this. But I feel like somebody don't give a fuck. Or whoever this best friend is, okay? Somebody best friend is they saying they up online and they duplicating or they trying to infiltrate because this person wants a beginning with an Aries or they target. They targeting somebody lover with the two, two of cups here. Or they want to be loved like somebody. Ooh, 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 what's what's up with this person? They slutty. <laughs> so the best friend is a slut. Damn. What's going on here? I mean, or somebody going to learn their best friend is a fucking slut. Ooh. Shit is hitting the fan. All right, free spirit. Yeah, they get around. We have panicking. I feel like they know. Okay. <laughs> I just can't get enough. Yeah, this person, they like sharing, sharing partners too, if they can't. So somebody with the sister wives and polygamous and everything here. Taurus. This could be a Taurus that need to know this. This could be a Taurus that's doing this. All right, with the bull coming out here. Oh, we. Uh-huh, common sense. Somebody is... um. Confident enough that they they gonna get away with this shit. This best friend. And like, no, girl, you go do your own thing. Okay, I got this and stuff. All right, they like, uh-uh, don't leave that motherfucker with your man. This person is doing this online and stuff, though. So, I feel like uh, they just want somebody to know that, yeah, they love their friend. It's a uh, best friend. is a slut, okay? I don't know if the best friend want to sleep with their man. If they have a partner or a lover, this person is attracted to their asses with the two of cups here. Sure enough. I love it. Wow. So we have, oh, uh, okay. I guess the swingers just got mad anyways. Because we got, <laughs> saying that I guess the swingers got mad. Swingers, group, humiliation, and envy. Okay. So somebody either upset that somebody liked to swing or they swing both ways or uh, whatever, and it's a group of them, and then we have here humiliation and envy. Okay, um, so I feel like somebody may learn somebody likes to um share partners, and it may be a surprise to them. All right, unexpectedly, somebody like, hey, would you like to join me and my partner? I'm used to that question in Vegas. People get in the car, they were like, hey, come chill with me and my girl. <laughs> I ain't with that shit, though. Oh, it's a Sagittarius here. All right. So, um, or a Sagittarius want to join in on something, or somebody wants to share, or somebody. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So, yeah, it's a Capricorn devil. <laughs> we have here the lovers. Damn. I feel like if somebody did share partners. <laughs> Who this person? This person is thinking about somebody here. Look at the lovers, okay? Somebody like, man. All right, so somebody could be feeling humiliated because they like a certain person or somebody is envying somebody's connection here. We got humiliation and we got temperature. We got Gemini Sagittarius energy, okay? This person, um, damn. We have the Empress, wow. And then we had the Seven of Wands. Okay, so somebody chose somebody. The devil, somebody's obsessed with somebody here too. To the point that I feel like this person wants to be this person so they can fuck that person or something. Because envy is just that. And with humiliation, someone like, man, wow, what can you do to do that shit? So someone, somebody like, okay, so this is like, oh my God, I could think of a scenario, but I'm like, should I say that shit? But you know, um, Somebody definitely wanted to have sex with somebody partner or somebody definitely said, hey, I don't want to fuck her. I want to fuck him or I don't want to fuck my partner or somebody say, could you fuck my best friend so I could fuck your friend? All right. Some shit like that happened and somebody felt offended or humiliated. Like, really? You don't want to fuck me, but you want to fuck her? Some shit going on here. Open mind. Open minded. 
<laughs> somebody like, wow. Yeah. So, um, but we have somebody here also the seven ones with Leo energy, Libra and Taurus. Somebody like, nah, I don't want to do that. Or I don't go that way as well. We got cheaters alert. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> so, what the fuck going on here? We got swingers that's in group orgy sexes, cheaters that's envious of people that don't cheat because the seven of ones is somebody that don't cheat. Okay. We got gossip, and these people like to spread gossip and shit, okay? <laughs> they be so polite. Oh, how you doing? Get your information and spread your information. All right, so yeah, they somebody envious of a partnership. It's a Scorpio or a Taurus, okay, wow, with a Gemini or a Sagittarius, okay, coming through. Also, somebody could be envious of somebody's partner because, you know, someone is like pampered and well taken care of. The empress is served, okay? Somebody be serving the partner up or they be serving up the dick of the pussy. All right, somebody could be also shocked to hear this because somebody is going to be blunt enough to tell somebody like, yeah, um, she fucks better or he fucks better because it's humiliation so someone's just gonna tell somebody your pussy ain't good or your dick ain't good and i prefer the other person and somebody if they did say that to this person this person is pissed the fuck off right now all right so it may if it ha haven't happened that is what's about to be coming out okay what we got here going on the emperor could be an aries wow so we got the emperor and the empress here <laughs> whoever this person is they bold they like fuck it and they ain't going to have no apologies, okay? So somebody definitely feel offended by that. Uh, and my goodness. We finna go to the next one, okay? So that's, that's, um, so these people are all involved in something and somebody wants somebody and somebody's like, I'm not going to fight over no bullshit like that. Bad vibes. We have protection. And we got a liar. And we got taken. Oh, somebody a bad liar. Now, we got, like, people, what the fuck going on here? So, like, okay, so relationships are breaking down. Motherfuckers is finding out people like boys, people like girls, okay? People like the same sex or people like to play around and they terrible liars and people married and shit. And, I don't know, they targeting um the person that don't want to get no ass up, okay? Oh, my goodness. Whole fucking sex orgy right there. A bad vibe on a bad day. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, so this shit is coming out unexpectedly, too. So, uh, who the fuck is this liar? Oh, this is somebody that's so sweet. <laughs> Are they lying to somebody that's very sweet? Okay. <laughs> I haven't got to tell cards. Oh, Aries. Okay. Okay. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> oh, shit. What's up with this badass liar? Somebody is in a relationship in this one, and they lying about it to somebody that's sweet. All right, we have here depressed, okay? So somebody don't, they unhappily in a relationship. They don't want to get their asses up out of it. And somebody going to learn somebody was leading them on and shit. But, you know, they in a relationship. That's coming out. Free thinker. Somebody likes the way somebody thinks. We have vain. Somebody is also superficial here. And we have mature someone like somebody that they're um, very wise and get easygoing, very responsible, okay? So someone could be stuck in a relationship because they're with somebody that's responsible, but they want somebody else, okay? Or vice versa. We got respectful, yeah. So yeah, somebody want what they can't have, all right? They already in a relationship. They depressed and they fucked up. And they over here trying to fuck with this person. Materialistic as fuck. All right, young and youthful. This could be someone that thinks they looks get them passed and everything. Mm -hmm. So we got Aries energy, okay? Uh for this person. So this person just do what the fuck they want to. Alright, we got the devil, Capricorn. Okay, this person is very toxic as well. So they got they depend on codependency. Okay. And and <laughs> I feel I was about to say Libra and Cancer, because the opposite of Aries is Libra and the opposite of Can uh Capricorn is Cancer. So they could have them aspects too in a damn chart. But whoever this is, their ass is uh toxic as fuck. All right, we have here in horny, okay, and they got sex demons attached to their asses, okay. And we got here 
Yeah, so somebody's going to learn somebody is the one to fuck, okay? But they go back home to their woman or somebody depressed in their relationship and they looking for some outing and they go sleep around. They do a whole bunch of shit. So anyways, we got the king of pentacles or they like, uh, what they call it? Shit, we don't even need the fuck shit. That this is somebody paying for ass and stuff as well. They have enough money, okay? They don't like their wife. They're not getting no coochie at home. They're depressed and they want some ass, okay, from somebody. All right, shake a little ass or some cash. Because this person is taking and that shit they saying and they a liar. So, they feel like got enough money to do it. They also stalking somebody, stalking the prey or stalking somebody that's young, okay, or text messaging. Okay. <laughs> We had here hermit. They said if you are a Virgo, <laughs> Capricorn, <laughs> Taurus, or Aries, you should ghost this person. This could be them. This person be lurking. All right, so somebody is definitely like working your ass, or somebody working somebody. They really good at it too. They mouth might be good too. If you had sex with this person, okay, the sex could be very addictive with the nine of nine of cups, the devil, and the three of pentacles. Yeah, but. If you didn't know this person was taken, you may learn they was taken or they in a codependent relationship. They depressed. They looking for fun. All I want to do is have some fun. I got a feeling I'm not the only one. <laughs> we got gay and bisexual financial issues. All right. <laughs> and we got here a uh, future job and apologize. Okay. So somebody might be finding out somebody is gay for pay. All right. With these type of cards that's coming up. Okay. And no apologies accepted, but, or somebody is like getting a job because they fucking for the job. Okay. Whatever the boss hand that shit too. And this is how this person is getting a job. So it's say future jobs or future Johns. Okay. Joe blow them. And yeah, that's what's hand here. And this is what's coming out too. All right, so anyways, I don't know. This motherfucker, wow, okay. But yeah, Pisces, it could be a Pisces, okay? This person really good at hiding this shit too. But Pisces energy, you will never fucking know as well, all right, that this person is um gay for pay or paying people or um shit. Yeah, they got financial issues. That's all I could think with financial issues and, and gay or bisexual with a future job. And somebody like, yo, trying to explain this shit off? Okay, somebody very promiscuous. They like to fuck a lot of people there. Mm-hmm. Oh, Aries is coming up strongly through here. A lot of these people is married in fucking relationships. Look at that shit. Capricorn. A lot of people unhappily married. Just divorce that motherfucker. So somebody, somebody also gonna find out somebody married a fucking man. Okay, wow. Blew his wig back. Yeah, because this is like what's coming out unexpectedly with the four of ones, which is marriage card, and the gay, the gay. If I, somebody marries a man for maybe they made a married a trainee or some a transgender, I don't know, but somebody did it, and that's what's gonna be found out. Oh, okay, but we got Pisces energy. Yeah, for money, somebody wearing. Woo, and this <laughs> this person is funny. All right, or oh, this person likes to fuck people for money. Okay. We have naive and yeah, they target people. All right, yeah, all you got to do, because we talking about a job too, right? Future job, all you got to do, this is for this job. You want this job, you want this gig, right? Damn, this is a predator right here too. A wealthy predator too. And, uh, okay, so naive, like, oh my goodness. I mean, what the hell going on here? Like, this is somebody young, okay? They don't know no better, but I'm like, man. <sighs> sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, this person is clever. This is like, um, yeah, I'm picking up on predator vibes all through this damn reading. I, I can't get past it, okay? Uh, young kids, okay? Because, I mean, yeah, so this is somebody turning, this is a rich person turning young gay people out, okay? Or they have the ability to have young people around them and enough money to do this shit with sneaky and wealthy and naive and shit and financial issues. So it's people that's struggling out there and they were like, okay, you know, damn, this is fucked up. We have careless, okay? Yeah. I don't even know how this person getting away with it, but this is gonna, this Pisces has been doing this shit. 
All right, did I get some more energy in there? Okay, let me get some more tarot cards. Okay, but see, the Pisces rules, um, unresolved karma. All right, so let's see what's going on. Fuck. This person's sick in the head. They need to be in the institution. All right, so somebody could be full-blown marriage in a relationship and they like fucking young boys and young girls, okay? Oh, my God. Oh my God, five of swords. Nah, this person is real. This person is cruel. And they and and they say if you tell somebody I fucking put a hit out on your ass. Like literally. I gas your ass. Gaslight. You tell anybody I like dick or pussy or I'm fucking somebody young, you coming up missing. Five of swords, Aquarius. This uh, this this motherfucker here is sick. So somebody's gonna find out how sick somebody truly is. Fucked up in the head. The, the world card. Saturn. So this could be an old ass fucking perv over the age of 70 years old too. Oh my goodness. This shit is coming to an end though. With, uh, or somebody, their, their sneaky fucked up ways are coming out. This is the unexpected. Alright, so um, December, January. We have two of swords. Like somebody just turns the cheek. The other cheek. Like I don't care. Like... It's all, if they got a spouse, they spouse just turn the other cheek. Like, okay, you know this motherfucker gay, a predator, and raping little girls or boys here, and you ain't doing shit. Mm, mm, mm. Libra, we got a queen of swords. A strong Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? So, yeah, somebody may croak, okay? Die, have a heart attack, whatever. Anyways. We had the Ten of Swords twice, so somebody could end up with a brain aneurysm or some fucked up shit like that. Uh, yeah, because they've been getting away with this. This person has money and wealth to do this as well. Boy, this shit be crazy, don't it? Nine of Pentacles, yeah. Could be, um, wow. Somebody here, beautiful. Somebody's working on their next predator. They I mean, they're working on their next prey here. But that I feel like a Virgo is about to catch this person, a detective, or somebody is about to catch somebody in the act. And that's how they're going to get their asses, okay? Uh-huh. This person might have a wreck, too. If they drive a motorcycle, they may hit the fucking wall. It's like the universe is about to stop this person in their tracks, though, because they're doing fucked up shit. They're a predator. Uh-huh. <sighs> You know, if they say people can't catch them and find them, that's why people have tragedies and fall off cliffs and, and have heart attacks and brain injuries and accidents because that's the universe putting their ass in place. Like, you almost have to stop this shit. Thief. Oh, my goodness. Reckless. This is somebody stealing somebody uh innocence. You know what I'm saying? the fuck? This is why people cut, grow up fucked up and don't have no chance at life because they was already fucked up before they can get out the door. Alright, we have boss and switch out. Yeah, it's definitely um, a boss here too. We got Aries energy, rules the boss. I'm surprised father ain't came out, but you know, whatever. This person is in a relationship. This person, so they, they're wife or they spouse, what, they swing a ding link and they have like sex orgies and they do the most, like the whole family is in this shit or the whole, the couple, they invite people over there. They fuck couples. They, they have a house. They fuck kids. It's remind me of the children underneath the stairs and shit. All right. This is definitely an Aquarius. Okay. Damn. Or they, the Aquarius season, they want to call this person out. This person, karma is coming. I heard one, two, three, it's coming for you. Three, four, you better lock the door. <laughs> Listen, this motherfucker, this person could be having nightmares too. They may have a hard time sleeping. All right, let's see here. They should have a hard time sleeping, whoever this motherfucker is. Because look at this shit. Prince of One, Princess of One. Okay, we have four pinnacles. This could be a producer. All right, um... This could be like a producer here with the uh, CDs up there. <laughs> yeah, I had a couple of producers that just came across my head, you know, especially when people want to get into the rap industry, the music industry, okay? The industry, we did have the devil coming out there, okay? Uh, flowers in the attic, or flowers in the attic, yeah. 
And we have judgment and the page of swords. Yeah, it's almost like somebody for to call this person out. Another Aquarius as well. Okay. We got Aquarius on Aquarius. So very, very strong Aquarius energy in here. Um, and Capricorn, but we had to, I mean, I named some other sign. So I feel like, uh, yeah, whenever Uranus is about to turn direct, this person is to be turned on their head or some shit. All right. Let's see here. Page of Swords. I feel like this person is um, definitely being watched. All right. Five of Pentacles. All right. Yeah. They, they hunt people that have nothing. Uh, and then they seek them out to prey on their asses. So this is a this is a manipulator. And we had a strength card, but it's like a Leo or somebody here. Like, nope. Like this person not gonna get an opportunity to fuck with this Leo or this Leo not gonna whoever they are. They got Leo. Um, yeah, somebody gonna come out here victorious and shit. Yeah, but what this person is doing? What's the fuck? Yeah, this person like they they not dumb. I feel like they just got money and power and they got a fucking wife or a husband that going along with this shit too. Logical. Ambitious. So what's up with this boss? So this boss is uh all right, so this boss is like um oh my god, this boss is abusing their power, okay? They very ambitious and they go after what they want. They could be sexually harassing their cup. So this this is unexpected. So a lot of these people are going down unexpectedly. All right, this boss is like going after their fucking employees and fucking them and shit. Or like they put their life at risk with reckless behavior and their ass is getting caught too. Somebody's going to speak up. Somebody has enough courage to be like, fuck that. That shit ain't right. And they're going to report their asses. All right. This person's going to get caught off guard. This boss here is going to get caught off guard. Or something about riding a motorcycle or being careless or some of them might end up in car accidents as well too here unexpectedly and shit because look how she hanging off that motherfucker all right so this is somebody be like oh let's go drive to the store and then pop a really on your ass you're like wait a minute <laughs> that is not why you know i don't like when people put you on shit and then they get to driving crazy and reckless with you in the car like this is somebody that does shit like that you know you think you about to go get some food from the corner store and they done did a whole 360 and burnt rubber on your ass okay we have dependable and balance. <laughs> For real. I feel like this is that type of boss. They do shit where it's fucked up. And then they try to sign a shoe and make you feel like, oh, don't say shit. All right. But somebody, yeah, the sneaky, sneaky. It's a lot of sneaky energy around, too. So these people have been very good at, like, um, coming off very stable, secure. Okay. Emperor energy. Boss energy, right? Together, but their asses is not together. Their asses is like on um, some full blown bullshit. I heard speed for some of their asses on speed and crack, okay? With the eight of ones, they be coming into work high as fuck. <clears throat> that's why they ass do crazy shit. And that's why they did be looking like they iced out on some shit. I mean, like, the hell, this boss is fucking lunatic. <laughs> they the one. Sagittarius energy. <laughs> they they call out a boss tonight. So a boss may unexpectedly have to get drug tests, okay? And the drug test is going to leave for them fucking up on their job. So if they like a bus driver, a Lyft driver, a taxi cab driver, or they have a driving job where they got to get drug tested, they're going to do some fucked up shit and they're going to have to get drug tested and they're going to be end up have to, to quit their job or something because they're fucking high. And, uh, oh, yeah. Or the train tracks. Shit. These motherfuckers are crazy. We got the motorcycle friends with benefits. So somebody going to learn, okay, the boss unexpectedly, they be like, what boss man at? Boss man? Boss man fired. <laughs> or boss woman. Because <laughs> they asked us somewhere, got to go detox and shit. Some of the ass may end up in rehab, you know, as a way to, quote unquote, act like they got, they changing a new leaf on life, but not really. They just need to get out of the fucking bullshit they in, Okay. Some of y'all, you going to find out somebody won't just fuck you or they just want friends to benefit. They don't really want nothing. It's coming out. We have here currently somebody you currently entertaining. 
And we have here a father. Baby father. I hope it ain't the father. We're going to go with baby father. Or someone that you might consider having child with. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? This, uh, shit, these readings be wild. And I know people, it be touchy subjects. Because I know people been molested by their father. Or been touched by, you know, family members and shit. And this shit be real life shit and stuff. But, um, you know, you can take that shit where you want to take it. But we got father and lover. We got current friends with benefits. So somebody, father, could also be interfering with their friendships. And they wondering why they never can be with somebody. Because their father is probably racist and running everybody off and shit. And, and, or they won't mail or the bride and shit. What the fuck? I'm hearing somebody like trying to like marry their kid off to a fucking demon. Someone that is wealthy as fuck. But they don't have... um. They're, they're nasty. Whoever this is, the father don't know how nasty they is or they do or, you know, what they call that shit? Selling motherfucker soul or somebody trying to sell somebody or uh, what? Link somebody up? Mm -mm. This father could be like that. Somebody may realize that their father tried to sell them into um, to somebody that was rich. Okay? I don't know how else to put that shit. Now, if you fucking your baby father... And, um, or you have a man in your life that you, you know, is a kid father, he want to keep you, but he don't want nothing serious and stuff. And he has other lovers interfering. Okay. With you guys relationship, fucking fatal attraction lovers that's interfering with you guys relationship because they want to keep him in their life as well. Or your baby mama, shit, they, somebody fatally attracted with the gun to the, the head. Okay. And the friends with benefits. So, you know, one night stand turned crazy. Yep. And that motherfucker said, you ain't going nowhere, Willis. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> we got here Aquarius. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. And we got Libra. So, Libra could be experiencing this. This could be a Libra. Okay. Definitely a marriage. Okay. A couple. They like, I don't give a fuck. You fuck with me. You stuck with me. I right, bring the third party, too. Shit. Fuck it. We all family now. Somebody not letting the fuck go of this. Whoever this is, not letting go. Now, for some of you guys, you might be trying to tell a dad that somebody fucked up and you don't want to be with them and you don't trust them. And they they going to have to learn the hard way. Okay, you don't learn today. All right, so somebody got the evil. So first of all, somebody currently in your life, okay, that is a strong masculine figure, has the evil eye on you guys, okay? And somebody has... Bad intentions for somebody dad or baby dad. Okay? Because this guy, this lover is pointing the gun at the father. So, I'm trying to figure this shit out. Okay? That's how I'm putting the card. Either way it goes, it's a gun here. And that's a target on somebody's head. Alright. So, someone is learning that somebody has it off of their father. Or somebody lover. A lot of their lovers have it off for their baby father or their man or somebody. This motherfucker... Take what they call it, put a um, have left a wake of heartbreak in their trails, and these people are scoring lovers. All right, we got the seven of pentacles, some of their ass is broke, that's why they holding on to because they did say this person has wealth. All right, so if somebody daddy pimp daddy out here and shit, pimping and shit, pimping on the budget, okay. <laughs> Oh my God, who's pipping on the budget? We have here seven of cups, seven of uh, pentacles. So we have here Taurus and Bur well, Taurus and Scorpio energy. All right, so yeah, somebody fucking confused. Somebody out of their mind too. And somebody like worship the pussy or the dick, okay? I don't know what's going on here. Also, spell work is being done with this one right here. Somebody's going to learn somebody father or they baby daddy is constantly doing spell work on them, constantly doing money work on them, constantly fucking up their life, okay? This is some confusion shit. And we have here eight of ones, Sagittarius. We got the two of cups. Yeah, somebody is in love. They're like, I won't let this motherfucker go. Okay, somebody lunatic. All right, Cancer energy, Leo energy. So I don't want to let this person go. Wow. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, they want that money. Yeah, somebody won't, don't want to let that cash cash cow go. And somebody very nurturing. Why are we talking on this phone? Be hearing people talking. It smells like burnt popcorn out there and I open a damn door. <laughs> Let me 
you got going on? Oh my God. So anyway, so somebody's going to learn to stay baby daddy or their current lover is unstable. Okay. Uh, somebody unstable. Or the girl, it's not plural. It's <laughs> yeah, hustler. Oh, somebody is a stone cold criminal. All right, this person is fandangling everybody out of money. That's why everybody mad and shit. All right, <laughs> uh, we have vengeful. for wow. Ouch. So somebody want their cash. Somebody took somebody took the money and ran as well. Libra or as well Libra or somebody. You know, yeah, pretty much somebody want their return on the investment, and they did not get that return on this investment with the seven of pentacles, six of pentacles coming up, eight of ones, and then we got Libra energy with this person, his friends with benefits, whatever the father, yeah, individual. Yeah, somebody can control somebody. I feel like somebody is owing somebody as well. Somebody can owe the mob, okay? They can owe the government. <laughs> the government is the mob, ain't they? <laughs> Let me stop, though. Like, somebody want to borrow some money and somebody didn't get it back, okay? Somebody could be in legal um, trouble, too. Somebody going to learn somebody, like, in knee-deep and shit as well. I also feel like somebody could be going through plastic surgery, changing their looks or getting tattoos on their face or changing something up so they can evade the cops and the police. It's a, or they lovers. It's a whole bunch of shit going on with this person. All right? Or somebody's hiding out. I also feel like somebody's losing their transportation. Somebody may even call you guys and ask you for a place to stay. <laughs> All right, Dad. Oh, my God. Cancer. <laughs> uh, this could be a cancer, Lord. All right, so cancer rules the neighborhood, the home, the mother, okay, the wound. All right, somebody is also lying about the kid or hiding from their fucking baby mama because they owe, like, five baby mama child support here. Anyway, so they looking for their next meal. All right. Yeah. <laughs> we have Grifter. Yeah, this person is sad. Oh, my goodness. This person is desperate, too. So, some, like, somebody's going to try to put somebody child support. Somebody's going to try to put somebody on child support, um, child support hold on somebody because they desperate and they need money. And they, they're caught up. Toxic-ass motherfucker. All right. Past friend. Some of you guys, it's a past friend. Cancer. Mm-mm. Y'all look. They said no. Fuck them. Damn. What's up with the multi-party? Fuck. So this cancer or whoever this is, they got a bunch of people too. Like several people. What the fuck going on here? All right. With a Capricorn. Okay. So somebody's trying to get somebody, um, rally people up to ruin somebody's reputation. This person is fucking very moody and shit. That's, uh, that's a cancer for you. You'll never know what the fuck you're going to get. They could have Gemini in their chart too. All right, loss in the sauce. So this person is gonna um this person is going to uh who put gave them dog poison? Oh shit. Um this person this person is gonna get they self caught up, okay? Because they moved this person is lo fucking losing a lunatic. All right, so this person is gonna be walk right off their job, married. What's up? Maybe look. <laughs> we got married multi-party. So a bunch of married motherfuckers here upset because they can't get out of their contractual agreements or they married to a job or to a person or a situation that they hate. This person is about to crumble. Unexpectedly, their marriage is about to crumble. Their life is about to crumble. And you know why? It's because they ass put their own foot in their mouth, okay? They retarded and they, they loose, okay? Loose in the caboose. Look at this shit. Multi-party. Several motherfuckers. Not just one, several people. We have here generous. Yeah. I also feel like they're going to this person is dedicated to fucking somebody life up. We have the street, okay, and their silencer. And we have imbalance. Yeah, this person need to go get back on their drugs, okay? They could be off their medication with moody mood swings, okay? They need mood stabilizer. So this person may um end up being diagnosed, okay, um, with something. Because they need to be diagnosed as well. All right. They use their marriage or their spouse as a cover up, like they got fucking sense and they don't got any sense here as well. They're very toxic. Okay. They could drink gin and tonic or they could drink alcohol or they could be a womanizer and a woman beater too. And they hide that shit very well. All right. But they mouth. Somebody might get something on recording. <laughs> and yeah, pissing on this motherfucker. What else is going on here? Did I even see that on video? This person is targeting people too. 
So this person likes to fuck with married people or they or they like to fuck with people that's single, whatever. This person is a, a pretender. Yeah, so spirit is like, if y'all know this cancer, who the fuck they is, spirit, like, uh, if you're Aquarius or Pisces, they leading y'all ass away from this person because this person is like a, a health hazard. All right. <laughs> they like, nah, don't take that romantic notion. This motherfucker is already married, committed, and he got three other fucking hoes or six other hoes or she got the same things. Whatever. Somebody's coming in with a romantic notion here, unexpectedly coming towards you guys. And they like, how are you doing? And this person is fucking married too. You like, can anybody be single in this bitch? Yeah, is this person, if you guys got a lot of money, they they said this person is coming for them dollars, okay? Uh, the hangman and the ten of pentacles, Virgo, Pisces energy, okay? So they like, no, don't help this person out. This cancer don't need to be helped because this cancer is already married and a commitment. They could be lying about it. You might have to do some research. You may have to go to their job, okay? Maybe ask around. You know, do your detective work. <laughs> Call out another name. They were like, are you such and such wife? You're like, no. Nah, I didn't know he had a wife or she had a wife. Let me stop giving ideals. But you get what I'm saying? This person, because we got Capricorn energy up here, which is the 10th house and shit. Then we got the 10 of Pentacles. This person is coming toward you guys. This cancer that's married with multi-parties and toxic with the intention to get a bunch of money. But the signs they just identify is Pisces and Virgo with Aquarius. Could be a Sagittarius that's doing this shit too. Um, we got Aries. Nope, it's a fucking Aries. Close fire sign. Doing some bullshit. Or so a fire sign is running from a cancer. Or a cancer is running from an Aries or some shit. <laughs> And somebody's trying to get free. Or somebody's stuck in a marriage because it's cheaper to keep her. You know, if this person has a lot of money, okay? The reason they're not st leaving their spouse is because they have security. But this person is out there fucking everybody and putting babies or a putting this person in a very unhealthy situation. So if somebody is questioning... What the hell going on here? Hold on. Oh, man. I be like, why? Okay, the, this is it. And I'm getting off of here. Okay, so auntie is silencing. Wow, what the fuck? Okay. The auntie want to silence somebody. All right, she comes off very nicely. And she is working with low-level energies and demons, okay? Or this wealthy person. Damn! So it's a wealthy person in here. We got the wealthy card twice. Or somebody is, like, trying to pun somebody off, Okay. I'm still getting that energy where somebody trying to hook somebody up with somebody that is really nasty. Um, oh, my God. Like, being groomed, okay? Like, being already sold off to somebody before you even hit a certain age. But anyways, this auntie is in here on some silent shit. Like, somebody could be like, auntie, da-da-da-da, telling somebody they're, somebody is really terrible and they are trying to silence somebody, Okay. Uh, what is auntie? It's like, no, 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 it's not that bad. Yes, the fuck it is that bad. <laughs> All right. <laughs> For real. All right. So that's said she working with a, the, this, the, whoever, this could be all one person or several people. It don't really fucking matter, but she's being tied in with that wealthy person we seen earlier. That was, um, wow. She could be the ringleader. She could be actually, um, which would make sense too. She will bring the young naive girls to him. Or this person, regardless of who they are, madame. And um, that's how he so, this person is so easy to get them, the predator. Because she the one that, like, uh, bring them in or convince them where, that it's okay. I don't know. This is wow. Okay. If this like an agency. Let's see. So, yeah, auntie, what's you going on? What's going on? So, someone, auntie, is a silencer, okay? A secret. Um, She could be wealthy, too, secretly. Or um, she could be the one that's doing this shit, too. Auntie could be a man, too. We did have game bisexual. I don't put shit past none of this shit. I'm going to place it all up in there in one way. <laughs> she could be, the, like, you know, trans um, transgender. She could be wealthy. And, and, um... I don't know what the fuck, because we got Aquarius all through here. There's some weird shit going on. Moon, all right, Pisces, uh, Cancer, okay? So someone, um, 
oh my God, like it's a wealthy Pisces here that knows uh, somebody auntie and putting an auntie up to something. So someone is being coerced into doing something. Okay, the devil, yeah, the industry. It's like somebody want a Capricorn or a Pisces or somebody wants this person. It's like somebody naive, okay, or somebody is like not aware of what they in or or this person is like thinking this person not. Okay, Libra energy. All right, Leo energy, the nine of cups, yeah. Oh, we. It's like this person. Oh, I get it. Like, if this person is married to somebody that's wealthy, it could be the wealthy man that wants this Pisces or this uh Capricorn or somebody shit. Because somebody is looking at somebody like wish fulfillment. Like, I just got to have this person. They young tenderoni. I bet you they're good. They juicy. They feel right. Oh, my God. Okay, so the auntie... <laughs> Yeah, so this is coming out. So somebody may learn their auntie, try to, uh, what they call it, sell their asses or something? Pulling their asses off to somebody wealthy. Yeah, we have here Prince of Pentacles, Prince of Cups. They could have paid them to do this. And we have here the Ace of Cups. Yeah, somebody, somebody is wanted or somebody, somebody is irresistible to somebody. High Priestess. Somebody like, no, nah, I got to have that piece of ass. And this person could be very young, okay? Oh, my God. The auntie's in on it. So, somebody, their intuition is telling them something. Heartbreaker and upset. So, this person, they don't like to hear no at all. Capricorn, Pisces, they don't like to hear no. This person has a hard time with no. <sighs> and they obsess. We got dreamy. Yeah, somebody is like somebody type here. And we got warrior, okay? I feel like this person is like trying to get this person prepared for this. This um, Wow, it's like somebody being groomed. That's what it's called, groomed. Groomed to be with this person. The auntie is grooming them. She's very fucking conniving. And I feel like she is um I'm about to done I'm about done pumping these motherfuckers out. The 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 thing is heavy. I conspired to do the wrong fucking thing. It's auntie. Did I roll that motherfucking dice? <laughs> but the high priestess, oh my god, she is Sagittarius. Shit. Or she has Sagittarius, um is when she gonna come out. Or Sagittarius, well that eclipse. This is unexpected, but yeah. All right, Ace of Pentacles. Wow, she got paid a big penny. Will of Fortune to tie somebody future or to read somebody future to a cup. Yeah. Because somebody wants this person. Six of Ones at any cost. How much do it take? How much I got to pay? All right, this King of Ones, this Leo. Ooh, it could be a Leo somebody want. Cancer somebody want. Leo Cancer Cups. Or, all right, somebody like, yeah, I got to have that. Oh, shit. Motherfucker. But the reason why she ain't getting there with the lazy, okay, she lazy, the auntie. We got Capricorn, half ass and shit. All right. <laughs> so we got Sagittarius, Capricorn. I feel like uh, this, these are unexpected events that's going to come out. So I feel like somebody is um, talking to a wealthy person or somebody's in contact with somebody that has money and the ability to uh, move shit around. I feel like this person is not in the best of health either, but this person likes young women or young kids or something is young, okay, that this person like where people are a little bit naive and they had the money, the ability, they could be a boss, they could be like, you know, they had the ability to pay enough money and I feel like they're coming after somebody and for some, this person is like a high priestess or this person ain't having sex or this person a little naive or they not sure, they might not be ready for what they in, okay. And the people in the industry is here. Yeah, Scorpio. Could be a Scorpio that want this shit. Okay, Scorpio season. So we have Scorpio, Capricorn, Sagittarius with the dice. All right, that could be significant to this shit. So why auntie? What's up with auntie? So auntie is a silencer. So she's like, no, just go. Just no, they, she's grooming. The four swords. All right, because she, yeah, she definitely silencing um, a Libra or somebody or, yeah, she, her time is up too. Or she's running out of time. Four days. Let's see. This is weird. 
This is coming out too. The Queen of Cups. Very clever. The Ten of Cups again. It's definitely in the family. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Ten of Cups. Pisces energy. Four of Swords. Libra energy. I feel like this per this person, their time is up. The auntie or whatever. I feel like she, she could be up too for what they call that shit. A sacrifice because she didn't get this person to sign a deal. I'm definitely seeing that shit. Like a contract was supposed to be signed. And that shit ain't happening, yeah. Three of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles again. Yeah, they were like, okay. How much do we got to give you to get this person? Judgment, yeah. Unexpected judgment for a lot of people. That's why I said she might be up for it. Somebody's out of time. And somebody's time is up, too. For this fuckery. No matter if they rich or whatever shit. This is a rich person. So, you know. Only way you can get they, I feel like the only way they get their karma is, like I said, accident, brain aneurysm, some crazy shit happened where they ass got to go in a coma, sit their ass down, the dick of their pussy stopped working in that type of way. Yeah, I guess could have been significant when this happened. 444. Four, four. So who is I guess Leo Virgo? Mm-hmm. So unexpectedly, so people are mean they doomsday. Or this wealthy person, or this person that likes kids, young people and shit. I always pull up my car. They're gonna be mean their doomsday and shit. Yeah, financial pinch. I feel like this auntie or this person, because I'm just pulling the cards away. She did this, or somebody took the deal to do this with their niece or nephew because they needed money. Okay, they were in a financial pinch. We got cancer. Do well, we had a lot of signs come out. Okay, but I think what cancer came out. As uh, far as the private eye deck, so yeah, mm -hmm. they needed the help to get out of some shit. The boot, all right. I feel like somebody's getting the boot too, all right. Yeah, there was a contract that needed to be signed. Somebody's gonna learn. Somebody uh sold them or tried to sell their asses, okay, uh to somebody wealthy. The dagger, fear, worry, tense situations. Teardrops, yeah, this is going to hurt some. It's going to be real painful. Great personal sorrow. All right, so, yeah. Your time is up, boo-boo. Or this person's time is up. Or somebody going to be like, damn, for real? So I feel like if this person don't get actual concrete evidence that this happened unexpectedly, somebody is definitely going to get it into intuitively with the high priestess. Like, wow, you really, you really try to sacrifice me, bitch. All right, we have here September, and we have the pig. Yeah, the auntie was greedy, or, you know, this this wealthy person is greedy, too. They 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 want shit they can't have. Whoever this is, okay, it's going to lead to their downfall, all these people. But this is like the tea cards, the tea leaves and shit. I'm getting more information. All right, yeah, this motherfucker just stubborn, okay? So it's going to take a tower to hit their ass in the head, okay? Judgment. Somebody can also be getting um, unexpected health news as well. <laughs> ah, we have here, don't tip to, don't be tempted to lawyer your standards, okay? Yeah, because remember you say the person was like um, going after somebody naive and silencer. So, yeah, somebody like stood their ground, whoever this was. I'm like, what? You want me to marry that motherfucker? <laughs> okay, I feel like it was supposed to be an arranged marriage or some type of arrangement, a party, a get-together. So this could have went down, but somebody refused to do it. It's just like somebody, they didn't feel like it was right. It could have been a celebration, a graduation. It was supposed to be a meeting. All right, but they said, I even now, like if somebody trying to convince you to talk to somebody that is wealthy or you know in your spirit that you ain't going to be with and it's an auntie up there whispering sweet bullshit, sweet nothings. Oh, girl, you don't know nothing. He got money. He can provide for you, take care of you. But, yeah, he going to be whooping your ass, fucking everybody, fucking kids. You're going to be having a hard time getting up out that damn relationship. Oh, yeah, because enough is enough. Like Jennifer Lopez taking fucking... um. What they call it? Self-defense classes trying to run away from this motherfucker that's stalking you and hunting you down. This is that type of energy right here because this person has power and money. 
All right, so yeah, recognition and reward. So I feel like somebody may actually also be able to identify this person as a part of the unexpected. And somebody actually might be on a wanted list where if they get turned in, they collect some money. Somebody could be turning this person in, a criminal, or somebody may have evidence I'm saying too, possibly. But the recognition and rewards for this, the haystack karma. Oh, yeah, so karma, you reap what you sow. So someone's in for their day, their their heyday is here. All right. <clears throat> I feel like somebody was maneuvering shit too, or something, or somebody was feeding somebody a fucking uh, pot pot of shit or just a shit dream. Love and dragon. Yeah, somebody could have been doing some drugs here, or did it for drugs. You never know what type of drugs people be doing. Oh, yeah, let's get these cards. This motherfucker, this person will not stop blowing up my damn phone. What the fuck? Harassment at its finest. <laughs> I can't stand this motherfucker. Yeah, oh my god, so this, okay, so some of him are like, uh, wow, some of them are chanting. Some of you guys need to, uh, Protect your wound, okay? Your sex organs and your sound, okay? I believe binary beats and stuff like that will help you. Sound healing. So this auntie is over there chanting shit, okay? So she's still working. She's still working. She ain't done. This motherfucking ex is the demon spun from hell. This motherfucker is a demon spun. Fucking get on my nerves. Harassment at its finest. Yeah, some of y'all, like I said, somebody been feeding somebody some shit that is not good for them. Also, malnutrition is what I'm hearing. All right, for kids, people, and everything, that shit is being discovered. I'm thinking like Queen Elizabeth times, how they was malnutritioning the kids and shit. All right, but anyways, they want you guys to pay attention. I feel like this person also has the ability to feed this auntie. Or this person um, is feeding somebody shit like like eat this or do this or take that, and it's not healthy at all for their asses. No, nah, this motherfucker keep calling my phone. I'm like, what the fuck? What you want, man? Leave me alone. Yes, yes. I'm so happy, y'all. I finally took my ass over there and did my um. I finally took my ass over there and made me another deck. <laughs> Which is Miss Wild Loves um, notes and stuff, 78 um, messages, and they just released it right now. I've been approved, okay, so I'm waiting for it to get here. It should be here by November 1st, and um, I'm, I can't wait to use it, okay? <laughs> ah, I finally took my time today to do that shit. All right, let's see. Nurture y'all self, okay? So, a lot of pink in here. Some of y'all really have to, um, headphones or something. Oh, Libra. This is a fucking stalker. Somebody will. Somebody going to jail, though. So the unexpected is somebody getting locked up for their ways, okay? Or somebody getting caught up. Yeah, shit. And it don't matter. So fear or favor. I love karma because it does not hold no fear or favor. So justice is here. Sweet justice. Oh, this auntie probably going to jail or she going to be caught up in some legal shit. All right, as well. Oh, my God. I'm getting such terrible energy from this, okay? Somebody was greedy. All right, we got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys are going to get paid for this shit. Ooh, we. I see a payout coming. All right, y'all. That's the unexpected here, too. The justice is going to come with a payment. All right, for real. With the justice and the Queen of Pentacles. Also, comfort and stability. And some of you guys, once you stop taking the advice of whoever this person is, okay, rich, poor, sad, dumb, or stupid, you guys are going to start feeling better about your body, your health, okay, your, your um, digestive system is going to get better. Or like, yeah, because even just negative energy make your ass sick as well. Or just be, yeah, the star. Oh, wow, beautiful energy coming through. Okay. All right, my Aquarius, Taurus, Libra's here, okay? A star is born, all right? But renewal, hope, okay? This money is going to set somebody free for some. Yeah, it's going to be enough for somebody to be happy, okay? 
I feel like somebody finally going to poke their head out and say something. But the flamingo spirit is there for me. <laughs> you know how the flamingos always put their head in the ground like they don't see shit. But this flamingo is standing up. So I feel like somebody's going to poke their head out and finally be able to look up and stand tall and feel good about themselves. Okay. We had a nine of swords. We, look at this shit. Look at this snake. So it could be a Gemini running scared. Okay. Um, I definitely, like I said, somebody's having like sharp pains. Okay. Chest pain. Um, heart attack here for some. The knife is going through his fucking heart. Okay. And we got a snake here. So poison. This could be like any type of poison. Poison ivy. I always have that shit thinking about it. But, you know, I like Peter. You know, that would kill you. Somebody could have been literally feeding motherfuckers greens and cabbage and cornbread or whatever. And that shit was poison, okay? Feeding somebody shit. Um, that's why you got to really watch. Or outdated shit or shit that inspired and shit. And as soon as somebody stop like, taking advice from this person, they get better, okay? We have here the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, but somebody health is going to return. Somebody's going to be the picture of health once they get their mind right. They're going to feel good. The Nine of Pentacles is very healthy. All right. And she's very affluent, too. And we had a two of ones. Making better decisions for the future, too. So, yeah. This person, this 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 toxic fucking aunt or this toxic person is, like, relieving. And somebody's going to feel good. Yeah. Five of Swords. You win. I feel like this karma is going to be harsh, though, with the five of swords and justice coming through. But somebody it's not going to be like a, a slap on the wrist with the, the justice and the five of swords. And it's because somebody um, because somebody here was naive or young or innocent um, and something was taken from them. And this is going to give them joy. They deserve it. This motherfucker is playing dead, too. So, you know, somebody here is like, oh, did somebody fake they death? Somebody probably tried to fake their death, okay? Oh, crazy energy again here. Mm-hmm. Somebody, so, or they sickness, somebody is like faking sick because they feel like if they fake sick, I don't know why people be thinking they can get away with some shit. Like, oh, um, and then people think, oh, well, I think I experienced my karma because X, Y, and Z happened to me. Nope. They ain't experienced shit yet. It's still coming. And it's going to hit their ass in an unexpected way. Because I feel like somebody here laying dead and they, they feel like, okay, I think I'm underneath the radar. I think I got away with it. I think I experienced enough bad shit. And karma like, nope, we're coming for your ass with the nine of swords, five of swords, and justice. You ain't got away with shit. All right. <laughs> Yes, you're not protected. Your ass lay right out there. X marks the motherfucking spot, okay? But I feel like somebody did this shit, okay? Or they are doing this shit. So they trying to go underneath the radar because they figuring that nobody would catch their asses, okay? And see them. But yeah, you guys are going to have a reason to celebrate. Leo energy coming through here again. This person could have did this shit with a Leo cancer. We did have cancer coming through as the hen aspect. So family and shit. You're like, damn, family want to do you the dirtiest. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, this is about to... Uh, uh, woo. I see somebody, like, um, get on the ground with a Gemini Eclipse coming in his car with the full car. So someone's going to make a careless or foolish mistake, and that's what's going to put their asses on the map. And that's what is going to make them, yeah, mean vibes. Okay. Aries watcher, well, fuck it. The Aries is watching y'all in here with some mean vibes. Why we always got a watcher that got to be in here fucking mean and mean mugging somebody, okay? What's up, bitch? Bitch, you broke. Shut up. Don't talk to me. Get your bread up. <laughs> hey, look at this shit. For real. Look at this. This Aries, what the fuck going on here? I should have stopped pulling, Okay. This Aries full moon, so um, somebody going to realize it's the Aries around them that don't like them, okay? Really, this motherfucker is a mean girl. You are a mean bitch or a guy. Somebody's an unstable fucking creature. Them poor unfortunate souls. And this person is so mean, they've been gathering up shit. All right, so I feel like somebody's about to do some unexpected shit. Unexpected shit, okay? Um, this is a cruel joke. I think this shit is going back to that one I said, trick or treat shit. All right, this Aries on some trick chick for real. Tricky dicky. Yeah, poisonous. They at Scorpio. Yeah, somebody here. Um, 
Mm, somebody like got somebody high and video camera that shit, okay? You know, um, <laughs> we played fucked up pranks. We played so many fucked up pranks on each other when we was kids and shit. And like, thank God we didn't have no cameras. And stuff. But I feel like somebody is like playing a fucked up prank on somebody and they're recording the prank. But the prank is going to go left, okay? Because this guy look like he has poison in his own arms, okay? So, you know, I don't know if a motherfucker going to have somebody drink too much or, you know, have him shoot up some heroin or... How they ass is, you know, some lighter fluids, some uh, what matches between their toes and light them up. I don't know what's about to happen. But somebody about to do some crazy shit, some Georgina shit, have, do some bullshit on somebody. This shit is to the backfire, though. They they bought the door to a Scorpio, possibly, or somebody that holds Scorpio energy, from what I'm looking at with this King of Cups, or a Cancer Pisces. All right, let's see here. Somebody that they are once was having sex with, once was in love with, or they hold some type of desire for. Oh, my goodness. Love. We had a Queen of Pentacles, yeah. It could be a Capricorn. They about to do this shit, too. All right, or a Taurus. Okay, also somebody, yeah, this key. All right, so somebody has a key, a lockbox here, too, a money as well. Or somebody's planning on trying to uh, pop somebody lock as well and get somebody money Somebody's unstable and they might need drugs here too. Because this is like a drug addict, a fiend that needs some cash, okay? And they watching somebody ass because this person is wealthy or this person has money, okay? Or somebody has like literally um like bones. Where that motherfucker bones at? <laughs> okay, Bones and what is that motherfucking uh, movie with Michael J. White? All right, remember the girl, if you guys remember that movie, he got that girl sprung out, okay, on the drugs and shit, but he loved her, but she she was like, she literally had to do drugs to be around his ass to even function. This that type of shit, okay? Somebody probably, um, what they say, turn somebody out on drugs and shit? I feel like, ooh, this, is, this story is like changing, okay? So, Anyway, so you can't even trust this person if they doing something because this person got a whole fucking trick up their sleeve. So they like smoke something with me and that shit laced with crack. Or they said drink something with me and that shit laced with arsenic or some shit. Or somebody's cooking some shit in the food, okay? For real. We had a four of pentacles hold back. All right. Or somebody is locking somebody in the fucking room and throwing away the key. If they still make shit like that today, I ain't renting houses, but I know you can lock people in fucking basements and houses still and shit. But whatever this person is doing, it's a cruel joke here. And they trying to do it to Capricorn or a Scorpio or they have a vendetta against this person. Someone could even, you know, egg up somebody's house or do some crazy shit. All right, we got the page of Pentacles. Yeah. This motherfucker here is crazy. And they doing magic. They definitely got their eyes. This Aries on a, a Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I'm going more with Cancer or Pisces with the King of Cups than I am with Scorpio, but it could be in there. And this person is, um, ooh, what's that shit called? False Bite, okay? <laughs> Let's see what else is going on here. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. This person been planning this shit out for a very long time. The Emperor. Oh my God, there they go again. Okay, so they their their fucking scheme is about to be revealed, or somebody's onto their asses. Okay, pay attention to the feet. <laughs> All right, cause what the black swan? She got red shoes in her hand. Okay, so somebody could be. Putting a spider in somebody's shoes and they bite their ass and then the spider poison them. It could be a black widow. It could be a black recruit. It could be a poisonous spider. I don't know. They could put a tarantula in their shoes. Somebody could actually go be going to buy a fucking reptile, a snake or something and throw it in somebody's fucking house or their backyard and scare the shit out of somebody. And they might end up having a fucking uh, panic attack or for real. Because so everybody can't handle this shit. This is what I'm saying. This motherfucker is mean. But it's a joke that's for to go bad and shit. Yeah, we had the death. Yeah, this could cause somebody to actually um pass out or temporarily die or go into cardiac arrest with the angel of dead loot um coming through as well. So yeah, this is not cool. And some and for some, depending on how this gonna backfire on their asses, if they haven't already did this shit, the fucking uh so yeah, watch your shoes, cause I know a lot of times, you know. 
bugs, incense, spiders, and shit be inside people's shoes, okay? Red with passion. This person got um hate, okay? Um, yeah, because this person, like, you took something that I loved. This Aries feel like somebody took something they love? All right. What the hell I was about to say? The Harriet Funk, yeah. Strong Taurus, it's a marriage, okay? It's a couple here. Somebody could be waiting on somebody to pass, too, here. Nine of Pentacles, yeah, the Reaper. Uh-uh. Yeah, so, Earth sign. This could be an Aries, too, because um, the Emperor is coming out here, too. Somebody that got uh, North Node and Aries is showing up here, too. North Node and Scorpio. Y'all got to put the North Nodes in here. So someone spoke up about something or spoke out on this person. Or somebody identified that this person was abusing their power. They could be, a, a, what is this, a government official. That's the boss that we seen earlier, okay? That somebody could be actually identifying, okay? Also, unexpected death as well coming up with these cards. Somebody might unexpectedly die and shit or something. They just been waiting. Magical. Somebody's been doing magic on somebody. Somebody's been using magic, okay, to uh, conceal this shit and get away with this shit, okay? We have untrustworthy. Yeah, I would not trust this Aries at all. <laughs> when they said I should be trusted. Stable. We have open relationship. This person got other people too. Because they disorganized, okay? <sighs> and we have here nurturing. Okay. This I feel like it's food involved here for some reason. Or it's uh elements where uh someone digested something, ingested something, or the needles are being used here as well as far as food. Mm, as I feel like this is all recorded, okay? So somebody could literally be a surgeon and they could be recording shit and it could be a doctor because Aries do rules the surgeon, surgical with this shit, okay? A magician. And they could literally be up there fucking um, making bad mistakes like doctors leave tools in their fucking patients and this person may uh, get caught up, lose their license, their border license and stuff because somebody dies and they find out that an object was left in the person that died, okay? It's some crazy shit. I feel like this person, I mean, that's one scenario. That's like, um, especially if somebody here is a practicing doctor or they're a surgeon, not just a doctor, a world-renowned surgeon, okay? Surgical with that shit. Or this fucking pharmacist, okay, taking their own drugs. It's a whole bunch of shit I see going on here. Somebody is definitely going to be getting caught. Maybe their spouse catch their asses, okay, with the last hit in their ass. Um, but it's coming through for this person. Um, and they have bad intention. And they're using magic or they're using manipulation. And they're using their power. And they're using their resources to destroy somebody's life, period. All right. And I'm going to get some of these... Uh, and they say, I can't be trusted. They ask, they organized either. So that's why you will get them caught up. Just the fact that they can't keep shit together. All right, King Knight of Pentacles, lightning understanding acquires knowledge and cures illness, okay? So this is somebody that's trying to get somebody sick. This Aries is trying to get somebody sick. The Knight of Pentacles is there twice. So Virgo or somebody knew this and they cured themselves or some somebody... Yeah, somebody got away. <laughs> Somebody's going to get away from this motherfucker, okay? <laughs> we have here the three of ones. Construction of the universe help one with great works. Protects against adversity. Yeah, so wait is what I'm hearing. Page of swords, okay? So, yeah, wait to hook up with this person. All right, somebody's been watching something, too. Somebody, like, somebody, if somebody has access to cameras and they have, like, been slowly poisoning somebody, they have been recording this shit. For years, at least seven years, this motherfucker's sick. All right. Slowly killing somebody. I do see that with the um, King of Cups and the Poison. All right, then we got the Page of Swords, okay? So, Refuge governs dreams and um, reveals, what did it say, mystery hand from humans. So, yeah, somebody's um, investigating this person right now. Yep. They're um, under investigation. 
Because I feel like if it's a doctor, they made a huge mistake. If it was somebody in a relationship, they made a mistake. And whatever they did, whatever position they had, government, doctor, um, boss, they made a mistake. And that mistake is about to get them caught up with the page of swords. Somebody's very clever. And also, yeah, this person like to silence people, too, because you see his mouth is covered. Yeah, the hermit. It's a Virgo here that's going to catch that ass, okay? I feel like this person, for some, is going to unexpectedly be passing over. We have the Grim Reaper twice in this reading with this area. So either they're waiting for somebody to die or they ask this. Their, their time is up. All right. For real. And um, the alchemy. The time. The hermit. I feel like somebody I feel like somebody's gonna get saved or somebody saves themselves or somebody catches something just in time. All right, where they don't die. The alchemy and transformation rules over natural events and helps one with spiritual progress. So I feel like uh they done spread their time frame up to <laughs> this Aries to die or whatever, to pass over. Shit. It is what it is when you're doing cruel shit like this, because I feel like this person has been doing this for a long ass time. Um <clears throat> And they and this shit need to come out. Someone damn near wanting to give up too. As I feel like somebody don't even know why they was sick or why they keep getting sick is because of this person is slowly poisoning them, feeding their ass rat poison or whatever the fuck they are doing shit or something. We got universal um, medicine elevates the soul and we um, rele uh, revelation of mystery. Yeah, magic. Somebody was doing a lot of magic behind the scenes. Okay. I go for anybody. Yeah, it could go for a Virgo man, but they identify. Virgo man could have Aries highly pla placed in this chart, but they did come up with the Hermit. All right, but the Aries is the one that's being mean behind the scenes. Uh, Aquarius also. So Aquarius season, if it don't happen now, or when Aquarius go direct or Taurus season. So this person may have been diagnosed with six months to live, okay? Terminal illness or something. So they wrecking havoc, okay? For real. And what we got... Where we at? October, November, December, January, February, March. Yeah, that's six months. They could be up to six months and stuff. I don't fucking count that way, but yeah. It go for anybody, but they want the people that's dealing with the Aries that know they're a scoring lover that possibly got Scorpio in their chart of cancer that did this shit. I swear, this is unexpected too. But the hermit is there, so somebody's a doctor here. Getting demoted, yeah, losing a license. Also losing a lover for some. Or oh, that's why they're doing it, because they lost their lover and they lost their job. All right, we'll have no place of success. Currently or will soon be homeless, okay? So they could be on the streets, okay? Look at this shit. See that shit? Spirit don't be lying. If they ask us, don't stop. This is what's happening to them. Unexpectedly, somebody's going to drop dead. And really, depending on where Mars is at in the chart, um, when Mars is in the eighth house, uh, I read about death and how you're going to die and when you're going to die. But when Mars is in the eighth house, it rules sudden death and it usually rules under age 40. So this is somebody that usually died before the age of 40. And stuff. Because um, just like uh, Saturn in the 8th house rules longevity, Venus in the 8th house rules how you die. Somebody could have Venus in the 8th house or Taurus. They can go with drugs and they sleep. And they're going to go with kidney issues and very softly and stuff. This person is going to go very harshly with Mars energy coming up. Like gunshots or abrupt like heart attacks. It's just going to be an end. Like boom, it's over and shit. Because uh, that Mars energy... So this person is like being warned to clean up their act. And because they keep doing it, the terminal Ill illness is at the bottom. So they either may or may not know about it with that coming up like that. But they're going to lose their license, whoever this is. Okay, they full of shit too. And I feel like this person is very sadistic because they even watch this, this shit and get off on it. Okay, with the video. Okay, with the mean vibes. And it has watcher and it has unstable. <laughs> like this person goes back. And live in a fucking misery, okay? Whatever this is. And they a hacker. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck going on with that shit? Aries is a trip. And we had a king of ones here. Yeah. Venus. 
Some of you guys, they want you to nurture yourself, take care of yourself. They want you to go out there, pamper yourself, go buy yourself stuff beautiful, be happy and thankful, do all the Venusian things, go get your hair, makeup, nails done, go get groomed, okay? Have a good time, okay? I also feel like this person is, um, whoever this is that's watching or noticing or whatever secretly here that, that's coming out about them, they, they're jealous because somebody's beautiful, a Libra, a Taurus here, all right? Or somebody has beautiful, you know? Somebody is like really a good person and stuff and somebody lost this person or somebody can't have what they, they can't have something and they are evil and shit. They doing some fucked up shit. But you know, um, depending on if your Venus is sextile, Neptune or Pluto, your lover either going to die for you or kill you. So you got to watch them placements too, okay? And you know why you attract certain crazy motherfuckers and be forearmed and forewarned. Venus, if it's like connected to Pluto, which, you know, take, what is it, Persephone through the underworld. And also through Neptune, which is confusion, drowning, and and like uh, the Titanic, how Leon, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio died for for her and stuff that's that energy but we're gonna see what comes out with venus okay this is somebody that die for love kill for love and possibly kill a fucking partner for love it's like sick shit twisted shit and we got the second house somebody might have did it for money somebody also um was doing this to get they their, their partner resources okay <laughs> if this partner was in like somebody military too just wait for the ass to pass away so they can collect them benefits, okay? Resources and shit. <laughs> Second house, Taurus energy as well. Savings. All right, yeah, definitely. Wow, Taurus here. Aries at the bottom, okay? So it's an Aries Taurus, Taurus dynamic going on right now with this uh, stable fucking creature. So this person don't want to let this person go. And they constantly watch this person day and night. And they do mean, cruel shit to this person because they miss the way this person nurtured them and took care of them. But this person still likes to go slaying their dick and pussy everywhere and open up. And this person is full of shit and they're full of magic. And this person, they need you to know that, that you can't trust this motherfucker. And whatever they like, if they always try to cook for you, I would question the fuck why they want to cook for you, okay? Chef Bardi. I think I will make my own dinner tonight, okay? Because I feel like this is somebody that literally has been slowly killing a partner. Fuck it. That's just what it is. I feel like it's coming out too. And I also feel like the more they do magic, the more they ass go crazy, okay? And they lose their mind and stuff. And that's what they also said too here with this person. <laughs> All right. <laughs> y'all, y'all. And this is coming up through um, Aries for a moon. <laughs> oh my god so really anyways that was the aries storyline okay so if you're fucking with the aries be cautious if you're aries you should be cautious as well all right we have here out in the open sagittarius scorpio and nosy so it's a sagittarius and a scorpio secretly um nosy watching somebody but it's almost like okay this is like somebody or like the trolls okay they underneath a profile disrespecting somebody they trolling somebody and they nosy as fuck, but they do it so openly so you know they're a troll because they go against it and shit. <laughs> All right, so anyways, they want you guys to know that this is, um, you got creepers. Jeepers, creepers, would you get those beepers? Yeah, somebody could be on call. Five of Cups, yeah, somebody disappointed, somebody sad and pathetic, okay, Seven of Pentacles, waited a very long time, but this person hides a lot of shit, all right, they unstable too, Two of Pentacles, Capricorn, Six of Cups, so somebody's watching to see when they could get it back in, they want an opportunity, all right, somebody wants justice, karma, somebody also in jail, possibly calling somebody from jail. Or somebody like, why the fuck do I keep getting prank calls on my phone, it's this person here that's calling from different numbers and shit as well. From the past, okay. It's like they do it so. It's like I know you the troll, motherfucker. Like, and then they like now they worry and guilty. They don't know if they're gonna go to jail, okay, or be locked away. Then they abandon that shit. Then they then they come here. Look at this Aries energy coming through here again. So this person is like a false divine. Um, this is a false divine masculine or a false divine feminine that's watching and lurking and want they be cold and cruel and shit. They're going to initiate some type of conversation. And this person is also watching somebody because they think they're beautiful. 
All right, but somebody's resisting their asses. Could be a Leo. Yeah, Leo, Cancer. I mean, Capricorn. All right, so yeah. So this person, these uh, Sagittarius Scorpio, is want to come back to you guys. Okay, they think you're beautiful. You keep saying no. You keep saying a healthy boundary. This person want to get back with you. They want a relationship with you. They hard-headed. They don't want to change. And they nosy as fuck. So if you feel like they watching you and stalking you, they are. If you feel like they doing shit that really torment you, just like... Don't give a fuck. They are. We have it here. Indecisive. Okay. I feel like this person can't make up their mind. I feel like this person is upset because you won't give them an answer. They want to intimidate you guys. They want you guys to uh, be scared of their asses with the emperor. Okay. We got real hateful and humble. This person also, almost wants you guys to bow to them with the emperor energy. Be submissive to them. But they fucking hateful and shit. And got needy and then they needy. <laughs> you're like, wait a minute. So if I don't say yes to you, you're going to fuck up my life. Yeah, that's that type of person. Very deceitful. And we have here hardworking. So they just constantly working on you. All right. So they saying they, they if they find a way, they're going to always try to find a way to get up in your business, be nosy, torture you, fuck with you, always do something to you to make you feel some type of way. They say, y'all need to take action. Yeah, y'all this person wish, but this person is a fucking frog, okay? <laughs> the princess and the frog. I right, ate the ace of cuffs, yeah. So y'all, they want y'all to look towards new love. Be patient. Be temperate. Okay, you guys could be a Sagittarius. You could be a Pisces. This person is like this other Sagittarius or what the fuck? Scorpio is stalking the hell out of. All right, yeah, this person is like a fucking vampire. And this person is coming unexpectedly to give you guys a relationship. And if you guys don't want this relationship, they're going to, like, apply so much pressure. And then they're going to be hateful and start, like, uh, what they call it? Trolling your ass, okay? <laughs> From different accounts. And we have here, page of ones. It's spreading rumors because you rejected their asses. And, yeah, they're going to become a fucking siren and succubus. Yeah, and then they're going to start doing some type of fucking form of magic on you, okay? Death magic for some of y'all with the skull in her hand, okay? Because y'all making good, y'all making great decisions. So don't be shocked with somebody like, I wish you were dead. And, you know, get the thread in your ass because this person can't be with you. All right, Queen of Pentacles, redemption serves against enemies of religion and governs your chastity, okay? So some of you guys, this person knows you guys are not having sex and they want a piece of that thing, okay? Uh, they want to act like they're not having sex and they want you to be the one to get it, okay? Both men and women can be fucked up, okay? But obviously, you was like saving yourself for something better, marriage. We got the Six of Pentacles, okay? Divine Grace cures rage and pestilence. And dissolves the guilty, okay? So I feel like this, you know, your honor, your uh, respect, honor and respect will come to you guys, okay? This person is spreading rumors, nasty rumors and shit because they can't be with y'all. Like, they just out in the open saying anything and doing anything they want to do. That's what they want y'all to know about this Scorpio, this Sagittarius. And they nosy and shit. And if y'all get into a relationship, they say you're actually going to meet somebody that respects you. We got uh, Taurus energy coming through. Scorpio energy coming through and somebody that's going to respect you also cures y'all of this mother. This person is a pest. They said pestilence. Okay. Disease and destruction. All right. We have page of ones again. And then we have here judgment, atonement. Okay. Some of the asses on the harsh judgment too. Some of the asses going to jail. A lot of the asses going to jail, but I feel like judgment is karmic law, spiritual judgment. So however the spirit de deem they ass need to be fucked up, they're going to be fucked up. Promulgation of life confines the wicked and slanders and saves some enemies. Yeah, so this person is literally going around um, unbeknownst to you guys or be known to you guys slandering your name, saying they fucking you, being with you, and they never even slept with you, touched you, or did anything with you. This person is lying on you guys, okay? And that's what they want to identify with the Scorpio Sagittarius that's being nosy. All right, so they like anybody you talk to, they could be like on their page, their social media, sending them a message time about, yeah, you know, I hit that and shit. You know how people be doing shit. They follow you around, do a whole bunch of shit, trying to ruin your life. 
But we have atonement of errors, destroys the power of the enemies and humiliates them. So this person is going to be humiliated or this person is going to look real stupid when it's all said and done because ain't nobody going to believe their asses, okay? This person is a clown. And this person, um, y'all, they got like a magnifying glass up to you. Like they go through, if you got a fucking thousand followers or whatever you got, this person is going through each one of the person's files that y'all around looking at every damn thing and <laughs> they doing the most. That's what they tell y'all. This person is a trip, but they said they about to get their atonement and stuff. <laughs> Y'all don't have to worry about that. They cut their karma is coming. The karma is they'll never be with you again, and they're going to see you guys get with somebody that has respect for your body. Good night, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.